today. From AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. This is the National Football League. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Dallas Cowboys. We're set for football, and we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And from his end zone, here's Gary Brightwell. And able to get this out to the 25. It didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry. The officials did as well. with a handoff to Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Second down and eight. Throwing Jones. Got a man open, it's Darren Waller. That one, a first down pickup of eight. The well, first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Now Jones, they'll get this out to Barkley complete. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle it for just a short gain. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Looking to throw, Jones. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. 
That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing, but to give them this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position, and to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. A pro bowler for the first time in 2022. Here's Tony Pollard. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Pretty effective run there. Now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality and pound the rock. Second and two, first down marker at the eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard from 10 yards out. And the Cowboys take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, we know he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time, Charles, they've targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design, too, because they kept him in the backfield, made the defense think run first before they swung him out of there. And you're right, with his hands, they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Two yards the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll go to Barkley again. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. 
And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. And the All-Pro, Micah Parsons, there on the tackle. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. down carry for Barkley and now off to the races down the right side and all the way down to the 10 yard line 68 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half and you talk about great blocking up front I don't think he was even touched not a finger on him until he was brought down to the ground I think we heard the whoosh as he went by didn't we right through the gap no one there as you outlined no one touched him at all a free sprint into the secondary. Yeah, that's what you call breaking free right there. Okay, here we go. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This is caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On second and goal. Jones under pressure. Down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Jabril Cox leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. So the sack means it's third and goal now from the 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. Eluding the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Gano's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. Well, 
after knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On third down, it's Prescott. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. It'll be a loss of five there as the safety blitz winds up paying off. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, and they'll be aided by a loss of yardage on the return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Jones now on first and ten. Flushed out right. Down the right sideline. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. This one to Slayton over the middle. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And that's patience to be admired right there because he looks left, looks right and waits for the right guy to come open, spots him in the middle of the field, and delivers. Back to throw, Jones. Escaping the pressure right. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. 
The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. Looking to throw, Jones. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard there to make the grab. And the Giants will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is now 10-7. Following the touchdown, here to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, they may try and work their way into field goal range and try to tie up this ball game. with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. Being chased out left. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and 10. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Prescott to throw it. Able to hit his target lamb. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. looks to throw on first. He finds his man, Pollard. And he will have a first down as they're into field goal range now at the 30. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. 
Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. So five yards here, five on the play. And this will wind up being a third and three. And again, it's Prescott. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Bobby McCain. And the Giants are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon God. All right, coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Good tight football game thus far. 10-7 the score as we resume action on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Second half begins with a run by Pollard. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter. And now, if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Second down, Pollard again. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. 
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw. Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup, 65 yards. And the Cowboys have retaken a third quarter lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from the wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And that makes it 14-10. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 80 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Again, it's Barkley. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Jones to throw on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I know that we've seen their share of struggles and the quarterback's been hit a few times in this game, but this one can't be put on the offensive line. They gave him plenty of time to throw the football. I think ultimately he has to be a lot more decisive in his decision making and get rid of it and find an open target. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York.
So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Pollard will take it up the gut. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's third and six. Prescott now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. From the 38 now, here's second down at five. Here's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Ferguson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Going to run again here with Pollard, and he'll go down at the 28. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive is eating up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. A 
first down throw for Prescott. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari, getting in there to bring him down. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now Prescott. Drops this underneath for Pollard. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This will get the lead up to seven. And his kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Another try, second and 10 now. Throwing again, Jones. Flush to his right. And Jones will hit the deck here, and he is able to pick up the first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's first down. Here 
Back to throw. Jones. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. A little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. Try forthcoming. And the lead is up to 14. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So now Jones and the Giants down by two touchdowns. A minute 46 to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Here's Jones. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. They'll try again here, second and ten. Now Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So they'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Defense pressure or sit back. Here's fourth and five. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. 
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Prescott eluding the pressure right and he's brought down but not before he reaches the eight yard line no one there to help out downfield but no problem scrambling for 22 to first now that's a killer because you think you get it absolutely covered and then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third, and then the tables turned. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out of my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. For Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.